Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. The topic is splenomegaly or the enlarged spleen. In the previous video, they explained uh, what is spleen, what are the causes of splenomegaly, what are the uh, signs and symptoms, diagnosis and treatment. But today's topic is the complications which are associated with the enlarged spleen or splenomegaly. But before starting, I would like to request you to like, subscribe, and share this video. You know, the most important worry with an enlarged spleen is the risk of injury uh, as it grows beyond the uh, protection uh, of the rib cage. You know? And a minor injury may cause it to rupture and bleed. And the spleen injuries are often treated by uh, observation, uh, but uh, sometimes the spleen can rupture causing the life-threatening internal bleeding you know requiring surgery to remove the spleen and it's an emergency you know so that's the reason uh, that the teenagers and the young adults which are diagnosed with the infectious uh, mononucleosis need to wait until the spleen returns to its normal size and uh, is protected by the rib cage you know before participating in activities where the a large spleen could be damaged, you know, as a result of any injury or trauma or accident, you know. So the all types of uh, blood cells may become trapped in a, a large spleen. So anemia, which is the low red blood cell count, may cause weakness. It may cause uh, fatigue. It may cause dizziness. It can may cause shortness of breath, chest pain. And uh, another uh, complication is the uh, thrombocytopenia. So thrombocytopenia is uh, the low platelet count, you know. It may be associated with an increased risk of bleeding. And uh, leukopenia, which is the low white blood count, may be associated with an increased risk of infection, you know. And uh, the spleen need to be removed surgically. And uh, the risk of certain infections increases after this procedure, you know. And the patients will need to make certain uh, that uh, their immunization uh, uh, is up to date and uh, especially against uh, pneumococcus and meningococcus and uh, uh, hemophilus influenza you know so because uh, uh, you will not uh, have the enough fighting force to fight against the germs you know so you need to be very careful to get an infectious disease after the splenectomy you know Thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, the next video will be about, uh, is it possible uh, to prevent the enlargement of the uh, spleen, you know? But, so keep watching.